Whichever team didn't win, make sure you enter again, because I can tell you now, as I said, one of the toughest competitions I've had to judge. I feel very proud to be on here today, to be judging such great, great culinary skill. Thank you for this. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Lego Fuchala Kids presented by Omo and Lifeboy. It's an amazing opportunity for children who loves to cook. For a kid like my son, which is going to participate, he loves to cook. Fuchala Kids is a great idea, especially giving uh, children the chance to like experiment in the kitchen. Let's the kids uh, showcase their skills and understanding of the, the cooking and uh, understanding of the cuisine in this multicultural market. Lego as a brand um, is one of the biggest toy brands in the world. It's a brand with a great heritage. When I was first uh, actually told about the program, I found it also uh, very fascinating for me that it actually was building on the same principles that we are thinking of when, when we uh, create the uh, Lego designs. That it's about unlocking children's imagination, and, but also certain systematic creativity. It's the kids themselves who want to achieve something and prove themselves. And, and then come with this pride of creation, right? So it's the same way that you come when you build something up from Lego bricks and saying like, look mom, this is me. And the same what I have seen in also the, this really pride of achievement um, when I have seen in the previous Foodshala uh, programs that, that really is inspiring for me. Foodshala Kids aims at unleashing the creativity of children through a culinary platform. This year we focused on the fact that imagination and creativity have no gender. Let's go, let's go, let's roll, let's roll. The final 12 teams were invited to a special master class that took place at the famous theme park Legoland Dubai. The team from LEGO spoke about how creative the children could get with the LEGO and gave all of the teams a LEGO box which would help them build and create different LEGO figures. The master class was indeed quite a learning for the students. It's now time for the teams to put their skill on the plate and make every round count. In Foodshala Kids, we are going to use Lego for a, making an extra touch to the presentation. So like a flower or a, a banana or a tomato. So like just to like just to combine it with our our food and like making it more resplendent for our uh, food. I like Lego because you can be very creative and you can do whatever you want. And if you even mess up, but it will still seem like a new creation. It actually inspires you to be very creative and very it motivates you in a very good way. Lego is a really creative uh, thing to be playing with because uh, no matter if you're 6 or if you're 12, you still have uh, the same amount of fun from Lego and it makes your imagination have no limits. All contestants were given Lego sets and were asked to create a Lego model as part of their presentation. They were also given time to explain to the judges their idea and concept behind the Lego models they created. Emirates International, please take us through the four courses and the whole creation with the Lego. It represents unity, so we've got different people as statues and they're from different places, so they've got different skin color, different shapes, and the ribbon, it's like they're holding hands together. And wow around the world. I really like that. The usage of Lego in our presentation was actually through our creativity and um, I feel like Lego really puts a kind of pop and brightness into our dish because it's really colorful. A lot of our ideas, inspirations and all came from different places uh, to make like this colorful little presentation. There is Lego chopsticks because in uh, Korea, you use chopsticks a lot. In Italy, the roads are really small, 
So like people use um, the motorcycles to get around Vespa. faster. It's called yeah, Vespa. the Vespas. And then there's the Burj Khalifa, since it's the symbol of the UAE. Mm -hmm. All of our food, I feel, like goes well together. Like they have this like vibe that you would give off. Then that's why I decided that on one um, base we would put all the countries with their um, most common animal and a person that looks like the countries. For the Lego, we have an Arab woman who makes the, you know, the Lugaimat because it's basically the Arab woman and the Arab mothers who make this for their children and family and that's why we've kept the Arab woman there. And also the camel, which is the shape of the desert. Lego is mostly a toy, so we wanted to convey a message to everyone around the world and the message is that Lego is not only a toy, but it can be used also for in communication. The Lego piece which we are describing about is Zero Hunger. So this Zero Hunger is actually promoted by the UNICEF. The motto of the UNICEF in the UAE is that no child should sleep with an empty stomach. In fact, the kids even had a Lego moment with our master judge, celebrity chef Gary Rhodes in the finale. We have a game for you. Our team GSSPS uh, would like to invite you to participate in a share. Think, Pair and Share challenge. So in front of you, you have a Lego griddle with four letters. Mm -hmm. Those letters are S, Y, F and T. Each of these letters are the starting of four different words. You have to guess the four different words. You may discuss with your team and share your thoughts. You have two minutes to arrive at the four different words. Your this is a tough number, this one. <laughs> You're putting me in a competition you can, now. No, you can guess how many ever you want and we'll give you more time. Okay, so this must be... Yeah. Sensational Young Food Theory. It's yeah. kind of jumbled. <laughs> it's jumbled. Oh, you've jumbled it. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me that, did you? <laughs> okay. So I would say this is your food, sensational, tasty. The F, the letter F is correct. Just tell me. <laughs> okay, okay. It's uh, T-Y-F-S. We'll unjumble it for you. Now you've got to tell me what it is, because <laughs> I'll be here all day and we don't have all day because I want to tuck into these. So, okay. come on. Uh, thank you, Food Chala. That is fantastic. Thank you very much. I'd have never have got that. So, <laughs> thank goodness you told me. That's very clever. I like it. This was a unique way in which Food Chala kids integrated the brand Lego within the show.